All right, so let's um, look at this old test and see what we see. I think maybe problems one to four in this video. X e to the x. So we have a product here, and a product can be in a few things. I mean, if you look at one, two, three, four, those are all products, but they're not all dealt with in the same way. But what we have here is a product where one of the terms becomes simpler if you differentiate it. X turns to one, and the other term is simple to integrate. The integral of e to the x is e to the x. And when you have that combination, the classic thing to try would be integration by parts. So let's see what to that does for us. I mean, the answer could be nothing, and then we have to try something else, but u times v minus the integral of v du And the answer was not nothing. We wound up successfully taking this integral using integration by parts. Two looks kind of similar to one. I mean, they're placed next to each other intentionally. But if you try to use the method of one, you run into a problem almost instantly. You could try letting u be x and dv being e to the x squared, but unlike here, where we go from dv to v easily, we cannot take the integral of e to the x squared, so we can't continue with this. So what else could we try? Well, we have composition here. This is the composition of the exponential function with this little power function. And one standard thing to try is that if you have composition, you might try u substitution where you let u be that inside function. Does that work? It might or it might not. Let's see. For this to work, we need to have an x dx. The two doesn't really matter. We can put constants in, but this x is critical. And we do have the x, so good show. We'll put in the two. 
that we need. We of course also put in that one half because we don't want to change the integral. And now this 2x dx will be a du. This will be e to the u. e to the u du. The integral of e to the u is e to the u. Of course, we don't want a u in our final answer. u is x squared. Number three, you've got powers of sine and powers of cosine. And we had an entire section, section 8.2, I believe, dedicated to taking integrals that look like that. If you just rush in and use the techniques of those of that section, you'll actually make your life a little more complicated than it needs to be, although you will end up with the correct answer. We have composition here, the sine of x composed with the cubic, and we have the derivative of the inside function and that enables us to do u substitution. U is the sine. So we've got the sine to the fourth. If you went ahead and used the techniques of section 8.2, the answer you wind up with will not look like this, but it will be the same, except, you know, maybe the constant is different. Now, problem four. By contrast, requires the technique of that sector. There's no cosine to be part of a du, so this u substitution doesn't work. We'll remind ourselves what the trick is. We take our odd power we, um, we pull one of the trig functions out. That leaves us with an even power. We then rewrite to the even power as a square. Like if we had a six here, that would be the, um, that would be the sine squared raised to the third. If we had an eighth power, that would be the sine squared raised to the fourth. There's nothing for that here though. I mean, we've already got the sine squared raised to the first. And the reason for writing an even power in terms of the sine squared is that it lets us convert to cosines. 
and the reason for converting to cosines is that it lets us use the u substitution that we used in problem three. Not exactly that u substitution. This time u is the cosine, but the same principle. We don't have a negative sign. We can put it in as long as we put in a second one to cancel it out. Negative signs can be pulled in or pulled out of integrals. Negative the integral of negative one minus u squared du. And now this is a polynomial. That's the point of section 8.2. It's to take these powers and rewrite them. So we have a polynomial of u. And then we convert back to our variable. U is the cosine of X. <laughs>